in democratic government here, small d, uh, you have to uh, prepare for all possibilities. We are still working hard with the uh, uh, members of the Republican Party that have indicated a willingness to negotiate to try to bring a two-thirds uh, bipartisan agreement together within the next number of hours or day or two. And that's still our goal. At the same time, of course, we have to prepare because there is still a $13 billion deficit remaining after the work we did last week. We have to prepare for, you know, uh, other options and other possibilities, and that's what we're doing. Well, they've been well, they, they've been well stated. Uh, you know, uh, read about what the governor, uh, or at least his office apparently was thinking about the other day. You've heard rumors about using majority vote and all of that. Look at, I mean, it's no secret, we've, we've, we're looking at every option because we have to. But the preferred way to go is to make a bipartisan agreement. And that's what we continue to focus on. This, but the pressure's on. This is a matter of a very short period of time, mainly because the calendar dictates it. Uh, June the 7th, June the 14th, you know, uh, it, 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 you get to a point where you go from difficult to impossible. We're, we're, we're at difficult now in terms of meeting those dates. Um, but uh, we are working intensively. And I, I you know, I, I, you know, check my mood meter. Uh, yesterday, my mood meter was, 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 was negative. This morning, my mood meter is, uh, is more positive, in part because um, <clears throat> the members who have indicated a willingness to negotiate and talk now are uh, the, 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 the discussions on the specifics are intensifying. And so uh, let's see how this day goes. But th yeah, this is the way it works. It's, fr it's maddening and frustrating for everybody involved and, and for you guys too. You know, what's happening? What's happening? It's that it, it, what's happening is that um, the, uh, the body here uh, recognizes that uh, we are coming to, uh, we are coming to the, the critical point where uh, their members, or at least a handful of their members, need to make some decisions about, uh, about ultimately what they want to do, um, and they recognize they recognize that a $26 billion cut budget, if that's what it came to, would be uh, very harmful to their constituents and, and would frankly be untenable and unacceptable. And so uh, recognizing that you know, they know we're prepared to move on um, if necessary, we're in a place now where, uh, you know, again, on my mood meter, um, I'm feeling more I'm feeling more positive right now, in a bit, in a better mood. This is day to day, really. I mean, we've said by the end of this week, well, this has to get done. I mean, there has to be a, there has to be an agreement. So that's that's the way we're operating. Okay. Okay. In the end of this week, Friday or something. <laughs> I. You know, the, the thing is, it's not a science, right? And it, because it, it's a matter of working with the Secretary of State and the counties in terms of qualifying a ballot measure. But we're, you know, we're prepared to move to other pathways if necessary over the next several days. Uh, you said you were considering alternatives, or you were exploring alternatives. Yes. Have you yet ruled out any of those No. Have, have not ruled out anything. No, it'd be, it would be a mistake to rule out anything. Look at there's only one thing that matters to me, one thing, and that is doing everything we can to avoid an additional 15, 14, 13 billion dollars worth of cuts to public education and to public safety and to services for people in need. To, there's only one thing that matters to me, to avoid tens of thousands of pink slips for California teachers and other people who are doing the public good. That's all that matters. Whatever pathway maximizes our chance to avoid that, that's what we're pursuing. And the preferable way is to continue the next five, six, 12 hours with our Republican colleagues to try to make it a bipartisan agreement. And that's what we're gonna do. I gotta go into my caucus, guys. I'm happy to talk to you more later, all right?